Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are back again and trying to rebuild the streak just a little bit. I feel like I accidentally budged this over a little bit there. Yeah, moved it over a tiny bit. But today, ooh, Mastema to Mother, nice. Okay, uh, let's give that a go. I haven't played as Mastema in a really long time, so forgive me if I'm terrible as him. Um, but yeah, we start with a prayer card. I forgot about that. Yeah, I honestly completely forget how this character works. That was like probably one of the worst hits I've ever taken in my entire life. But I'm in a good mood today. I, I mean, I'm in a good mood most days, I'll, I'll be honest. But I'm in an especially good mood today because of multiple reasons. Uh, one being that I managed to find... So basically, the uh, over the past few days, I just ordered like a bunch of stuff off Amazon that I kind of just needed for my house, uh, my flat, should I say. Uh, just, just just like a bunch of necessities that um, I like hadn't bought that I kind of needed. Like we need a new cheese grater. I needed some new like utensils for cooking, just various stuff like that. But in doing so, one of the things I needed was a wash basket. And you may be like, your turtle, why are you so, why are you so excited about a wash basket? That's really weird. But, but actually, the reasoning is, in getting a new wash basket, I had to empty my old one. And in emptying my old one, I found many items of clothing that I have not seen in many moons. Because I have not been to the bottom of that wash basket to wash clothes in a long time. Um, and I found my Hollow Knight t-shirt that I literally haven't seen in like eight months. Not even gonna lie. I completely forgot it existed. I haven't seen it in that long. And I'm wearing it now and it is making me very happy because it's just a very good t-shirt <laughs> and uh yeah I, even after even after most of the covid wit it still fits so <laughs> um i'm very very happy about that also yesterday managed to uh managed to do something pretty interesting that i've never done before which was really exciting i went and played archery tag it was really, really good, and it's basically exactly what you'd think, apart from the arrows aren't deadly. It's like firm-tipped arrows, and it's literally like, it was, I think, 7v7 or 6v6, either side, and there was like some... Marker Kane isn't that good. It's... Yeah, do you know what? I'll take it, because it's an extra life if we get a familiar. It's not that good for us right now, but... It might be good later. And obviously with the prayer card, it's 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 decent enough. And you know me, I'm a risky bisky anyways. But yeah, so we played this archery tag and it's um, like we played a few different gamers. One of them was just like dodgeball. You could even catch the arrows and bring your teammates back in. It was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it was really, really fun. And just, I didn't realize this familiar fired. Nice. Uh, it seems like he does more damage than me as well. <laughs> um, but that was, that was actually awesome. I really thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, so... And obviously, with that comes the normal or the new sort of question of the day sort of thing that I'm trying to I'm trying to do a little more often here. Um, and so my question to you guys, I, I was originally going to ask something else, but because I'm on the topic, what's your guys' favorite? I know some people aren't very active, and that's fine because I'm not either. But what's your guys' like favorite sport or like active thing to do? For me, it's running. Like I don't know why. That's no secret room. Um, I don't know why, but like over uh, when I started going to gym um, recently, I really got into running. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but it just it, it's 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 a really nice way to sort of relax for me. And I I have surprisingly good stamina considering I'm not a runner. So I normally go and do like a 5k run. I just stick a podcast on or like a YouTube video. Sometimes I listen to like Northern Lion. Um, we're going to Mother, so we'll go this way. Um, yeah, sometimes it doesn't like North Line. Does he have brain worm as well? What the hell? Um, and yeah, I gotta say, it, I just I just enjoy it quite a lot. So what's like a, an activity or sport sort of thing that, that that you guys really enjoy? And if not, what's a game sport that you really enjoy? <laughs> I know some people out there don't really care for physical activity, and I can I can wholeheartedly get behind that. Tears up for each astrological item you have. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, I'll grab that. Um, <laughs> yeah, I totally feel that, and even more so than just feeling that, I um, <laughs> I was in school, the worst performing student in physical education in the entire year of like 300 students. 
<laughs> like, basically, in the UK, at least, I don't know if they do this other places, but you, the way that your, your sort of grades worked was, um, was like, I think you, like, you went like 4C, four, four 4B, four 4A, four and then into 5, and CBA, up through them, and I, I was like a 4B in physical education, and everyone else was like a 5C or above, <laughs> because... I just didn't give a shit. Like, I used to spend basically most of my um, of my PE classes out on the field. Because one of the great things, um, rejection. On use consumes all your following, follower familiars, and throws them as a big piercing poison gut ball in your firing direction. Um, that's intriguing, but obviously we don't have um, silvery tooth. What the hell is silvery tooth? Um, we don't have that many familiars right now, so it's not that good. Oh, that's what Slippery Tooth is. This is good. Shouldn't have been hit there, but I like it. This is the one where if we hit an enemy, they start leaving that creep stuff on the floor. And that creep stuff is real good for us because it can give us some stat boosts. So I'm pretty happy with this so far. I'm going to try and go into our shop and try and get some, uh, try and get some stats going on. But yeah, one of the, one of the greatest things, some health, sorry, not some stats, um, about... Uh, I also forgot that this guy had this shop going on. I should have been checking this in the last floor. Um, I also forgot that money is kind of worthless to us. Familiars share their tier effects with the player. Nah, I'm sorry, but we got to take that. That's incredible. I, I, I like you, Pebble, but tier effects with the player being shared is incredibly good. Um, I want a sack as well. Yeah, like, one of the great things about being very terrible at, at, at physical education, I don't know if every school had this, but I always feel like the the, the teachers um, just, uh, they only cared about the kids that were actually good at it. They just didn't give a shit about the kids that weren't, which was great because you just got to basically skive off and, like, everyone else would be, like, inside the sort of gym building doing whatever they were doing, and I'm like, nah, I'm just going to chill outside for a bit. <laughs> I'm just going to sit outside and do what the hell I want for an hour. It was great. Like, almost all my lessons were just, like, I just go outside and, like, hang out with a few of my friends that... Because none of us cared and the teachers didn't care. And it's pretty bad that the teachers didn't care, like, at all. But at the same time, it worked for me, so I don't, I didn't really mind. Oh, my God. The, the, the frame rate dip in this fight is, is hurting. But it's okay. Angel deal. Oh, wait. We have duality. I just realized. Um, I feel like Angel Deal is probably better for us right now just because our health is currently quite low. Did not consider the fact. Did not consider the fact that these would cost also. Luckily enough, though, apart from Eden's soul, none of these are really anything I particularly want. So I'm kind of fine to dip out. Maybe maybe the ones in the... Um, maybe the ones in the thingy... Uh, Devil Deal cost money? I don't know. I can't remember. My stem is a bit of a funky one for us. But yeah, like, sort of, I've been kind of trying to um, to liven up the commentary a little bit recently, depending on, on the run, obviously. Some runs just kind of make me want to talk about Isaac, but other ones I've been trying to sort of spice up the commentary a little bit more and stuff. And one of the things I kind of wanted to talk about is just, like, do we want to pay for a random item here? I don't think we want to yet, do we? It's just, like, straight up adulting. <laughs> like, oh, god damn. Kind of a rough room. Uh, like, I don't know. I, like, I, I've been, I've been just, just generally just seeing a lot on stuff like Reddit recently. Oh my god, I managed to poop slick the fire. Lovely. Um, I've been seeing a lot about uh, like there's there's been this big subreddit that's been that's been blowing up called r slash anti work, which has just been people that that, that don't like work, <laughs> which is fair enough because like. In America especially, which seems to be where most of it's coming from. It seems like work over there is just absolute bollocks. Like, so much, it seems like there's so much wrong with the way that they do things. Um, not saying that's like the case everywhere. Some people do have good jobs. But I feel like, I don't know, like, a lot of you probably don't have a job yet. I know that, um, um, like, YouTube majority is kind of, it's kind of school age or, or, like, uh, or like college sort of level. Um... I, I don't actually know what my average viewer age is, to be honest. But I know I've got a few people out there that are, like, at my age or older that are, like, in work. Um, and this is another question for people that are in work. Like, how how are you enjoying your jobs? How How is work going for you? Because I feel like 
I feel like that's something that, um, that, like, I see a lot on, like I said, online, where people just, like, absolutely despise their jobs. I really like my job. I mean, I've gotten quite lucky. Um, okay, so let's, let's try go to a devil deal this time and just see what's what. Okay, so it does still cost. Horror Babylon is pretty impossible for us to um, realistically grab. Oh, that re-rolled it, though. That's pretty nice. Taking damage may spawn souls. Does it re-roll it again? Ooh, it does. I'm taking purity. Hell yeah. Purity's great. Um, okay, that's some interesting stuff we can do here. I'm going to be on the edge of death constantly, aren't I? I'm going to be, like, on the verge of, of, uh, of suicide <laughs> at all times. Anyways, let's go and um, let's go and do our mirror room. Why did I why did I decide to do an extra room as the lost here? Or oh, multiple extra rooms apparently. Oh my god, I have made mistakes. <laughs> Holy hell, I have made mistakes. It's okay though. We can we can hack it. I like where the poop slick works even with flight. That's good. Stay safe. But yeah, like, um, I've, I've been re reasonably lucky with work in the fact that I've had... Oh god, I don't have flight anymore. I'm not lost anymore, I just realised. Um, yeah, that was stupid of me. Um, yeah, I've been quite lucky in the fact that I've only had, like, three real jobs. Like, re like real proper jobs. And all three of them have been pretty good to me. My first job... I... Oh, one minute, I've got a message. Okay, I'm back. But yeah, like, my, my first job was, um, I'll take this. Better not be a health down. It's an estrogen up, which is effectively a health down. <laughs> no, it's not, no. We're good. Um, yeah, my first job was just, like, a shitty job at a, at a store, which I basically got for the sole reason um, of needing a job when I um, arrived at the city I'm in, because I, I came to live with my girlfriend um, and thus just needed something to get some money so I could pay rent. Uh, so I just got, like, a shitty job at a store. Luckily, I, I, like, it was quite an easy process getting the job. I mean, for one, my my mum knew someone that was a higher up at the store, which definitely helped. But, like, apparently the, the guy that hired me, I asked him afterwards. He said that that, that, didn't, um, that didn't actually affect the... Uh, the hiring process at all. I mean, who knows how true that is, but yeah, he, he claimed that, um, that that didn't actually affect anything, and he hired me just on my own merit, which is good to hear. I don't know how true it is, but it's good to hear. Um, but yeah, uh, so I, I worked there for like a year and a bit. Um, I worked there for like a year and three months, I think, and I, I stayed as um, a st sales assistant for a while, which essentially... Essentially, a sales assistant means, um, till bitch. You just sat on the till scanning people's stuff, and that's basically all you do. Um, ooh, do you know what? I know this is risky, but I'm, I'm gonna try and blow up a few of these, because I've got tons of bombs right now. I'm only gonna do three, I'm not gonna do all four. Oh, unfortunate. Um, but yeah. Oh, we got this room again. Oh, wait. Okay, that's a bit more chill. Double bombs, I guess. Get those bombs back. But yes, um... So, like, it was a pretty chill job. It was part-time, but I... Because... Basically, because I was good at the job, which essentially, like I said, amounted to working the till and stacking shells. But because I was good at the job, like... I wouldn't say motivated, but because I, I worked reasonably hard. I wouldn't say I worked hard, but... <laughs> you know what I mean. Um... I, uh, I got a lot more hours, and which meant, like, I ended up working, like, around 30 hours a week. Sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more, but on average around 30 hours a week. Um, oh, oh god. I didn't realise those flies were there. That scared the shit out of me. Okay. Use the stat boost. Use the stat boost. Um... And yeah, that was that was fine for for a good amount of time. Like I, I quite I quite enjoyed that job, and I stayed for a few reasons. One, it was a very local shop. It was a chain, uh, but it was a very local shop in in sort of the terms of uh, basically everyone that came in came were people that came in most days or most weeks. I knew I knew most people, so that was kind of nice. It was a nice sort of local community. Um, and the people I worked with, and my boss especially, were all really nice. Um, I enjoyed I enjoyed working with those people quite a lot, so I really didn't mind. And I ended up getting bumped up to senior sales a little later, which is 
basically the same job, but I also managed a few people and like had to had to cash up, which is basically like counting the money at the end of the day and putting it in the safe and logging it all, um, and like opening and closing the store on occasion as well. Um, and I, I only did that for a few months just for a bit of extra money because on the on the shifts that I was um, in charge, I got like pay and a half, which was really nice. Uh, it was like nine pounds an hour. It, it was pretty. It was pretty low wage. Like I'm pretty sure I was on minimum wage. And then when I got to senior sales, I was only on like two pound an hour extra. It wasn't. It wasn't much. But then, um, sort of, I'd been looking into um, into other avenues for a while. This is a horrible room for me right now. Um, I'd been looking into other avenues for work for a while. Uh, in case any of you didn't know, I did. Oh my lord, that was stupid. Um, I did a computer science with games development degree. Um, ooh, I really think we should try and get this. Considering money's basically worthless to us, we should definitely go for this. And of course, the game has screwed me. I'll do this at least once, just to uh, try and grab this again. Oh, come on, game. Don't be a bastard, man. Ooh, expansion pack's kind of interesting. Come on. You bastard game. It's a 25% chance. I should have got it by now. Anyways. Um, yeah, and I'd, I'd been trying to obviously branch into my industry for a while. In, in fact, my intention... Oh, my God. Holy hell. I just got wrecked by these dudes. Um, in fact, my intention... Bad trip. Okay, thanks, game. I'm really, I'm really loving this. Uh, I'm also really loving that um, I keep just getting fucking range upgrades from, um, what's it called? Oh god, this is, this is tough. I'm going to just bomb you because you're in the way. Um, from my purity aura, I'm just getting range upgrades. God damn it, game. And a troll bomb, good. I, I, I genuinely could die on this floor. Very, very genuinely. Because it's just, there's so much going on right now. Like, the fuck is this? I'm so screwed. I was just about to say, if it drops health, oh, here we go. Here's the death. I'm so scared. I'm just trying to tell a story. Uh, but yeah, I've been trying to obviously, like, I, I worked at this, this job at the store for a little bit, but that was only sort of to make ends meet. Also, we got this room again. Um, it was only sort of, sort of make ends meet, and I was planning on only staying there a short time, actually. Um, I was planning on staying there not very long at all. Um, I'm gonna take the random one here. I know Dead Onion's decent, but we don't have decent shot speed, so let's take that. Pop's decent enough. And then we'll pop the hell out of this. See what happens. Oh, nice, okay. Okay, th that worked out quite well. I'm trying to look at my stats as this all unfolds and see what happens. I think I did get a health down at some point here. Okay, do you know what? This worked out reasonably well. Apart from the fact of just not being able to see at all. This worked out reasonably well. But yeah, it was kind of it was kind of just like a job that I didn't really care about staying at, and I, I planned on branching out into something different. But I ended up staying for quite a while just because it was enough money to, to get by, and I actually liked the job, so I wasn't in any rush to leave. And I, I didn't really make any effort to leave, which is not a great idea, to be honest. If you're not in, like, your dream job, I won't say your dream job, but if you're not in a job that's, like, good money and you really like, you should really strive for something better. So, I hadn't really been looking, but my girlfriend, um, she is a camera operator. Um, she, like, films, um, like, rugby and cricket and stuff like that. Um, different sporting events. And, uh... Yeah, I, um, electric dice, I think electric dice is more than worth it, for pr just to work with prayer card, um, even as a two heart deal, also filigree feather is real good, but, I don't know, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip, I, I like this trinket too much, um, and yeah, so she she worked um, she worked at the university near where we live um, uh, as a as a camera operator for them under like a sort of in house business that was hosted in the university but not technically a part of the university. It was kind of a, a weird situation, but that's kind of how it worked. Um, and uh, like I'd kind of been sort of told there was potential jobs going there for for, for like somewhat 
This is pissing me off now. Can you just not, not exist the way that you do? How is this only hitting one segment? Most frustrating shit ever. Now you've knocked my bomb away. Um. Oh, what the hell? What hit me then? What the heck? Yeah, so um, I've been kind of looking into maybe getting a job with her because I knew that there was some some sort of coding jobs going and, and um, more sort of computer sciencey things. But I was like, do you know what? I don't know. I'm not re I'm not really a big into coding to be honest. I know I did computer science games development, but. It kind of taught me that, hey, I don't want to do this for a job because it seems horrible. Uh, <laughs> um, but I, I definitely wanted to be in the industry. I wanted to still do something computer science related. So obviously that's kind of what I strive to do. And I ended up getting an interview there at the university. Um, and I worked there for, I, went, I ended up working there for like a year. And I basically just did like documentation where um, I would write up like user guides, like how to use and, and stuff like that for um, for clients and also I'd like onboard clients to the software we were creating um, and that was that was a decent job it was actually a pretty laid-back job to be honest um, it wasn't ridiculously difficult uh, like the hours were pretty fair and like there was there was times of, of like a lot of pressure and a lot of stress when we were doing like big projects like one of the things we had to do is we had to like get this art gallery ready to be sent to China um, which is a very weird thing to be doing for a job that I had. But anyways, yeah, that, that's that's one of the things we ended up doing. And that was a very stressful time. But there wasn't too many other really, really stressful parts of the job, to be honest. It was pretty fair. Uh, but then when COVID hit, that job just completely fell through. Mainly because my, my boss, uh, he's, he's an American guy, um, who was going back to America because he'd been offered a better job, which is fair play. But, like, I was out of a job, so I was a, I was a bit worried, um, especially being out of a job at the very moment that COVID started. I was like, oh no, what the hell do we do now? Um, but this boss of mine, he's the one that hired me. He was, for some reason, quite a big fan of me. I don't, I don't really know why, but fair play. Um, and he, he actually managed to find me a job, like, literally immediately um, at this uh, tech startup was uh, building streaming services, uh, like a new sort of business streaming service thing. And that's where I'm still working now. Uh, and it's, it's been going for like near two years now, a year and a half, two years, and it's been going pretty strong. And um, obviously I'm not going to give any like personal details about it really, but would you believe that I manage people? Me. This, this goober here that... that barely knows how to play Isaac, is someone that manages other people. I'm like 24. It's really weird. Really weird. <laughs> but, I ain't gonna complain. Anyhow, back to the run. Ooh, Jar of Air's pretty good, actually. Uh, I'm gonna take Jar of Air, because it does give us a heart back. And we'll also check this out. Oh god. Hello. We've actually done decently on health here. I'm kind of hoping to go to a devil deal and use Sanguine Bond a little bit to uh, get some damage ups and stuff. Okay, good amount of money. Um, sadly, we didn't get that on the last floor. It would have been very nice to have gotten um, Tech Zero. Do you know what? Lemmageddon is top tier. Also trading that. Especially, Lemmageddon's really, really good with what we've got going on right now because um, we've got Electric Dice. Activating it one to two more times on use seems great. Um, Schrodinger's Tears. Okay. All right then, Schrodinger. Right, let's go to our boss. We need to do our Mind's Chase as well, don't forget about that. Health isn't great for going down to the Mausoleum, but... Ooh, this is a weird Gideon fight. I appreciate the 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 variety, but this is a little bit bizarre. Schrodinger's tears here with pop is kind of intriguing. There's, there's a lot going on. Oh, hello, hand. Wasn't expecting to see you here. Yeah, it's actually quite nice having Schrodinger's tears plus this uh, thing. Basically, Schrodinger's tears for those of you that don't know, it fires three wi like wiggly tears, but only one of them. Like, if one of them hits, the other two disappear. It's like it's like sort of fakey triple shot. 
It's easier to hit enemies, but you don't get the extra damage. But you also don't get the tears down, so... It's all, all in all, it's just positive, really. We got some clickety clacks. We did lose our uh, Schrodinger's tears there. I really hate this setup that we've got going on right now. We're like stuck in a corner on our own. Dude, these turrets, I don't like them. I've, I've, I've decided. It's not a good idea. Dude, I can't fucking move. Nah, 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 nah. These turrets are big BS. Where the hell's the other clickety clack? Get over here. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. These things ruined me. I literally can't go to the mausoleum now. I, I actually can't. That's just depressing. That's just depressing. Anyhow. This is a big oof. It's a sad day for all turtle melons. A big sad day. Right, let's see if we can find a secret room, I guess. There you go. Could give us some HP. I mean, eh. <laughs> it's something. We gotta do our chase sequence now and not get hit though, which I feel is unlikely. Oh, we got a health up though. That that makes me feel a little better. Right, let's do this thing. Never a fan of this, but I I'm I'm still I am tempted to just install the mod that means you don't have to do this chase sequence because even with the new layouts, it is a bit stale nowadays. Like. It's more so for me, like, it is a bit stale, but the, the bigger thing is the just abhorrently terrible lag that you get when you play this on modded. I don't know what causes it or why it's so bad, but the lag is horrendous. Um, like, you, you'll see now it's fine, but when we make our way back through the, the two big square rooms, well, I, I, my FPS is going to drop a lot. I don't know if it'll quite come across in video, but in gameplay, it's this, like, overlay red filter sort of thing we got going on. How am I meant to dodge that game? How? Leave me alone. Yeah, like, my FPS has, dro has dropped 25 in this area. We've also lost our horns for some reason in this area, which I kind of find a bit funny. It does make it a little easy to dodge Mother when the, when it's the game's running at a lower FPS, but also I still just rather it not lag. Oh, that was one. That was like the one room. We still got to get through the big room yet. And this room's the worst by far. This this room, my FPS has dropped by about 25, 30. I also really hate this specific puzzle because you have to like take this one bomb really far down, and it never lands where you want it to. Although that time it did. Really? You have to throw that bomb like an absolute just stupid head? Oh, spit out the bomb faster, you moron. Come on, I gotta fire throw three bombs at this fucking thing. I realize I misplaced the first two, but like shouldn't have to be this way again. Come on, I, like, it's, it's just taking me forever. I'm actually kind of sick of it. I, I think I am going to install the mod. It's just, it's just, a, 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 at this point, it's just kind of a pointless chore. What is this? No, this is gross. Oh, God. Okay, we out. I'm, I'm annoyed I got hit, though, but at least we got our prayer card brocked. We, do you know, because I've got a rotten heart, there's a chance I might die upon going through the mausoleum door. But I'm going to try it. Regardless. I'm going to at least attempt it. Okay, no, I didn't. I am very close to death, I'll say that. I will go back and get a red heart real quick. Also, Puri, could you for once not be completely and utterly useless? Could you give me one solitary reason to care about your existence, please? 
It's kind of upsetting me. Right. I don't know if prayer card has proc with electric dice once yet. It might not be able to, to be honest. It might only work on actual actives. But still, I'm a bit sad. Right. Mausoleum. With 2 HP, not very promising. Especially when we get Mausoleum first time round. But, nevertheless, let's try our best. At this point, we got to take pills. Look up range down. Temptation. Paralysis. We got a chariot card in case things kind of hit the wire. Immediately. Just instantly losing. Instantly losing my hard earned eternal heart. Very upsetting. Oh, really? I don't even need to use my bomb. I need some shot speed up. Like, Pop is making me depressed right now. Right. Let's keep her going. The fuck? It, what is this? This is one of those room designs where it's kind of like, I get what you were doing, but... It just kind of leads to a bit of a boring room. Yeah, I'm not not a huge fan of that. Anyways, let's stop complaining. Why am I getting these these things everywhere now? I'm a bit confused why these are all over the place. I mean, I accept them, but I've got nothing to spend my money on. That guy, that guy's got an explosive rock. We got jetpack. Yeah, I don't. I, I kind of think electric dice is broken. Maybe it's not. It's not procked once yet. And we've activated our active plenty of times. Okay. I had jetpack. What am I doing? I can fly. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see throughout the rest of this run, but I kind of feel like maybe it's not working as intended because it hasn't procced a single time, which seems odd. Normally, it procs reasonably often, too, so it's kind of what me leads me to believe. Right. Health is looking a little more okay now, but we did still lose our guaranteed devil deal, which is unfortunate. Oh, this is a... This is a hell of a room, this. Hell of a room. Yeah, I don't know what has triggered enemies dropping these little finch things, whatever they're called, pitches. Because I don't have them enabled in the settings. They're supposed to only be able to drop from a set, like, if you have a certain item. Maybe it's the, uh, ah, maybe it's the uh, other wisp that I have. Maybe that's what's doing it. Yeah, I'm not going to pay attention to this. <laughs> okay, so let's pop we'll pop both our actives again in a second. Ow. Of course that still hit me. Right. So this just gave us one and this just gave us one. Yeah. Definitely something not quite right about that. My lord, the bomb rock boys. The nail, the nail. Ah, the nail is pretty good. But let me get, I did just spend two HP on it though. I spent two HP on let me get, nah, I gotta stick with let me get, and that's a real shame that is. That is HP I should not have spent, but it is done. Oh my god, these licky tongue bastards, stop. Not really anything in here we want, is there? I really do wish there was a little more ways to actually use your money as my stemmer. Just because, like, 
apart from beggars and uh, some machines, money is essentially worthless. You're always going to have a ton of it because you have nothing to spend it on. So it'd be nice to maybe have, like, some other avenues to spend. What the hell? Smelts one tr random trinket onto you. Gotta try it. I don't even know what trinket that is. Maybe we can take a look on the encyclopedia. I don't know if it'll tell us. Inventory. This. Effect. Higher chance to find runes and soul stones. Has a unique interaction with a certain item. Sounds pretty good to me. But this is this is a good reason to use our money right here. Hopefully get some soul hearts. And we got soul stone there, which is nice. Oh, come on now. This is ridiculous. So much money to spend on a machine and not... Okay, there you go. As long as I got more than one soul heart. Okay, I got three. I'm happy. Soul of Bethany. We got a foiled death card. We also got... Mom's ID. Now we'll do we'll go with the foiled death card. I don't even know what it did. It said it dealt 80 damage. That did not deal 80 damage. My lord. I, I do find it funny that I was complaining about not having ways to spend my money. And then immediately was given the best way to spend my money. Spent all of it and gained a ton from it. It's kind of funny. So maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe I'm just a silly goose. Right, let's keep her going. Ah, shit. Right, I really need like a an extra tier effect to really kick this up a notch. These, these enemies are so bad. <laughs> No, 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 no. Give me that. I also want more familiars. Considering we're firing our familiars' tears. Our familiars are firing our tears, sorry. They're actually pretty valuable to us. Like, imagine this with Turtle Baby. Holy shit, it'd be insane. Right. We got one again there. Don't know what it is. And... Oh, wait, I pressed the wrong one. We got one. Rotten Guts. Oh, wait, we got... Wait, no, did we get more than one? Because it said we got Rotten Guts, but that's not Rotten Guts right there. That's, um... Oh, wait, no, 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 it is, it is. It's Rotten Guts, isn't it? Yeah, Rotten Guts is, is the Rotten Guts, baby. Yeah. You are correct, game. I forgive you. Nine lives. I think we should take nine lives here. I didn't even see what... The, what, what the hell's the other item do? What the... I don't recognize this item at all. Like, vampire bombs? Void bombs. Plus five bombs, bombs spawn on more of the void. Eee, nice. That's pretty cool. I like the idea of that. I think this is from um, something Wicked Pack as well. Goddamn, losing this knife is going to be a bit devastating because our DPS just isn't amazing right now. It's good enough, like nine damage, but I feel like something's just not quite right about it. That looks secret ruby to me. That's really cool. Goodbye. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and use um. I'm gonna have to try and use my bombs on bosses and stuff a little more with this interaction here. Cause I, quite, I quite like that idea. Bozo. Hard time, bozo. Definitely take that. Speed up and slows down the game. I like that idea. Ooh, entropy is there as well. Yeah, I'm ta it's risky as shit, but I'm taking entropy. Nah. Wait, what was there? Some was there an item down there? Then one second. I swear I just saw an item down there. No, I thought I thought I'd like drove over a mushroom and got a mushroom item, but I am mistaken. But yeah, Entropy's really, really, really good. Especially with Pop. Good, good. Oh my god, hello. 
Thank God I could deal with him a little easier. Oh, no jetpack anymore. That's upsetting. Look at this. Just creating a wall of shots. Ooh, okay. This is a, this is a very intriguing room. Not sure I like it. This is not a lot of maneuverability considering there's creep everywhere. But it's a very interesting room. I'll say that for sure. Probably not the greatest idea to go into this fight with this much HP, but... Oh well. Okay, we actually did fine there. Take this. Um... Dev I mean, Devil or Angel Deal, either way, this isn't going to go amazingly for us. So, I think Angel Deal's kind of the way to go. Do you know what? Wasn't expecting that. Increase the odds of finding Eden's Blessing if kept at the end of a run as it will start with a random trinket. Intriguing. Just a lot of health, game. Ooh, Owl Totem's okay. Ah, no keys. Come on now. Where are the keys? Where are the keys, the keys, the keys? Oh, I just realized our minecart is also adopting our, uh, our tier effects. So it's firing pop tiers. That's cool. See, this all worked out. Well, now we don't have a key to grab that soul heart. God damn it. But yeah, look, if I... Look at that, it drops pop tiers. That's really cool. <laughs> right. Let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle skadoodle. This shouldn't be too bad of a boss fight, I don't think. I did pretty good damage to the previous mum. Oh, I just, I just want to say, uh, don't forget about more of the void bombs. Very valuable. Kind of to save those up, actually, for the, uh, the mother fight. We probably at this point kind of want to start stockpiling HP as well. We don't really want to spend too much more. We might not even have the option to spend much more, to be honest, but still. There you go. Beautiful. So yeah, if we can if we can get up to like 20 bombs, that'd be pretty good. I'm really liking the gas the 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 uh, jar of gas or whatever it's called, jar of air, that's helping out with like all these fart effects as soon as we enter the room. Weaken up, weakening up enemies a little bit. Oh, it's you. I was like, what the hell's left? What the heck's left? Yeah, I don't like those flies. Do not fire those flies at me. Also, just the three poison uh, locusts is rather nice, too. Oh, god damn it. I'm going to be chasing this guy forever, aren't I? Pentacles. Isn't this uh, when I pick up an item, I have a chance to get doubled? Uh, I have a chance to get a wisp from that item. Okay, I will use bombs here at least. Could potentially be good. And there you go. We've got three bombs back already. And another bomb back there. Was more than worthwhile, actually. Right, keep it going. Actually, I'm going to say, now we've got Entropy going on, and I think uh, Stopwatch is helping out a lot too, but this is a really good setup. I think this is mother capable. Oh my god. Why? Luckily, that was a very easy kill, but those enemies can be hella annoying. Get over here, you fat bastard. The eyes are after me. Don't think I'll be taking any pills from now on. I think I've gone the wrong way as well here, which is just glorious. You managed to whip my wisp and not me. I'm kind of impressed. I'm annoyed, but I'm impressed. Golden penny. It's maybe worth picking up. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> God damn, went the wrong way. Corpse, why you gotta be like this? Why you gotta have these massive wrong ways to go? It's a just frustrating. Oh yeah, the flies, the, the poison, the poison locusts, like killing enemies through through the walls because they got spectral. Technically, really nice. I feel like the boss is never to the left, but I'm trying it anyways. Oh my god, Pop is a really bad for these specific sort of enemies. 
Broken shell. Cracked open. That music slowed down. It's kind of funky. A uh, broken shell's the thing that, uh, yeah, the thing that gives us the little bomb dude, isn't it, flying around us? Is it? I think it is. Ooh, we got the twitchies. Yeah, there it is. Look, the little bombs dropping. It'd be nice if that applied our bomb effect as well, but sadly, not the case right now, at least. Okay. Should be fine here. Ooh, you survived. Well done, sir. You survived my trials. Okay, that's a bomb for you. Come here, maggots. And another. Come on. We're getting up there in the bombs. We have. This is actually the first corpse floor, isn't it? I just realised. We've actually got another floor to go yet, so we're, we're pretty much fine. And we're charging our active up nice and quick as well. Ooh, holy mantle's gone. I don't even know since when did I have the holy mantle, but... I think it was from entering the angel deal, maybe? There you go. Obviously, Rock Gut can be a bit of a pain here, but we can deal with him. There you go. That, that, that bomb didn't quite work the way I wanted it to, but we, we killed him anyways. I think I'll go Angel Deal again, just because that worked out last time. Sun card here is pretty big for us. The soul is going to give us two soul hearts back, so I'm going to take it. I think it could help quite a lot. And we will go on down. I said I wasn't trading trade much HP anymore, but the soul is going to give us a lot of our HP back and be very defensively positive, so... And yeah, we get a whole we do get a holy mantle for entering angel deals, which I feel is just really useful. That's that's also really useful, actually. Let's take that. <laughs> that is equally as useful to me. Yeah, I don't really know why I need the keys at this point, but I'm on a low amount of keys, so I'll pick them up. That's a weird looking room. No flies. No, none of the flies, please. Set up a wall. Set up a wall. The leeches can't get past the wall. I mean, nothing can get past the wall, to be honest. It's pretty impenetrable. Cloaked, baby. Hey! Oh, Lexa joins the crew. A, a cloaked baby did get a little bit of a nerf, but it's still really strong. Apparently Turtle Baby's going to be getting a little bit of a buff, which is exciting. Oh god, it's still running tears. God damn it. Calm down. Might be able to get one more activation of my actives before we get in there. We'll see. We're not, we're not desperate for one, but it would be nice to get one more red heart. And maybe a, a, a chance at a good lemma get an item. That could potentially last us two seconds in the fight. Oh, just, just, just go away. Just can't be after you. Oh my god. I thought I was going to lose on my limit getting wisps then. We did indeed get another activation. Ah, oh, we just got the double tap sneeze. We don't really care about that, unfortunately. Right. Let's go, let's do it. I think I think we're healthy enough right here, and of course we have this. Which won't kill her, but it will do a bloody good job of getting in near to. In fact, it's gonna get her 75% of the way through or more, yeah. We'd almost got up to 20 bombs, not quite where I was wanting to get to, but they're still gonna do a they're still gonna pack a mighty punch nonetheless. We throw them out regularly. We're gonna have a good time. Yeah, they're doing really good damage. That one completely whiffed. 
Oh, what the hell's going on with my bombs? Why are they going off to, like, the left and right here? Dude, why is that bomb following me? Go away. Okay, I'm whiffing these bombs real hard here, but it's fine. It's because Pop is just an absolute bastard. Pop just keeps pushing the bombs in the wrong direction. Goddamn, this phase of the fight... There you go. We finish her off with a bomb. Good little kill on Mother there. Not, it's been a little while since we've been to Mother, so exciting little run. So I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Very, very fun. If you could let me step into the chest. There you go. And yeah, I'm going to say I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.